Okay, my friends, I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing, which is running a base test on the uh, woofer at nice high power. Uh, and on, so instead of six, we're going to give it a uh, woofer cooker. But first things first, we're going to warm it up. Okay, let's begin with 37 hertz. Yeah, let's play around with the frequency. sounds like that is because it's not in its base box where it can get air pressure.
ഇവിടുക Basically that's how these run on a woofer cooker, that coil is not even warm, even though when I looked the excursion was ridiculous, it was slamming itself right up to the point of no return, and straight back down and slamming the spider about as well. And let's take a look at the health of the speaker from inside. Let's just get this down so we can see the spider. Inside there, not happy. So it's actually in fantastic condition so far. I apologise, you won't be able to see it very well. All this crap in the way. Okay, there you go. and assembly all in tack. I can hardly get a view of it from here through the camera. Let me make sure you can see what I'm seeing. Take a look at the magnet on the back. There's a nice little reflex point there for the um oh, I apologize, locking it. For the uh, dust cap. And there's a nifty little trick with the dust cap that you can do when you uh, press them in by accident. So I'm gonna do this on purpose just to show it for demonstrational purposes. Okay. So I'm going to take the dust cap and I'm gonna Push it in. Easy as that. Now, if I blow into that reflex hole, <gasps> and there you have it. It's fixed. There you go. I'll push it in again. Proof that it stays in place. As you can see, that's very nice and happy. So, let's give it a little bit of air. And there we have it. It's fixed. I'm glad you could uh, see me doing an excursion with these. Uh, shall we run the WC again? This time you'll be able to see the corner spider. Um, and that's once I can get the light in the spot I want it. Right, that's happy. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see that. Ah, you can just about make out the corn and spider there. So let's give it a crack. Let's give it another water cooking.
Okay, that's the uh, waffle cooker complete. I'm going to run a frequency through this again for you. I'll run a nice steady 38 hertz frequency. Just so you can see what it was going through. There you go. See that all right, Matty? Good. Okay, it's completed the results. I can't show you exactly what um, work I check I'm doing, but I've done some uh, readings here. I've got the readings complete. And here we go. Um, let me just start us out. Sorry about the cover, that's on the floor for a reason. Um, okay, I have the results. Make sure that you can actually see them. There's the results. Here we have them. The speaker is, of course, emission 781. Watts RMS R100 continuous. 6 ohms, not 0, sorry. Let me move that in so you can see a little better. There you go. 6 ohms, 1 voice coil. Uh, it's been reconned. I reconned it quite recently. Uh, temperature and strength of the voice coil is 25 degrees Celsius throughout the whole of the woofer cooker test. And it can handle 12 pounds at maximum of pressure. And it passed it as well. It's actually passed the test. So, that's good. Um, so thank you very much for watching and here is the woofer cooker track I was using and it's the THX woofer cooker and it's not a joke and it was by IMTEME and uh, that's basically it I had my base right up maxed it out and I also turned my treble to zero, turned DSG on and all the equalizers on here were set to full bass so that proves that a woofer cooker can sometimes destroy a speaker but it didn't destroy mine so I thank you very much for watching and I hope you will subscribe, rate and comment thank you very much for watching